Ahoy mateys, it's about time for dinner. And the other day I was over at Harrington Harbor South over at the Honey Harvest um, Deli and restaurant and grill. Really a neat little place. I got an idea for a menu item, something I haven't had for a long time. Philly cheese steak. Well, I'm going to do a little bit of a difference on this. Um, I don't have rolls on board. We're going to do a Philly cheese steak wrap. So let's see what we need for that. And we're going to get back to some good old Philadelphia eating. All right, so what are we going to need? Well, we're going to need a wrap, a little bit of provolone cheese, some onion, green pepper, garlic, mushrooms, a little salt, pepper, a little bit of flour. Now, very few boats have roast beef on board, but I got a piece of steak, and I'm going to show you how we're going to slice that up and saute it to make our Philly cheese steak. Now I've sliced up the onions, uh, green peppers, and some mushrooms. Now mushrooms is an option. I like mushrooms. I opted in for them. But now remember on the garlic, we don't like to use the garlic press. Let's do this. Be careful you don't cut yourself. Just smash that garlic down. Oh yeah, just like that. When we saute this in a little bit of olive oil, which I forgot to mention at the beginning here, but you know, we always use a little olive oil. You see that's going to cook up nice. We're going to brown this first and then add the rest of the vegetables. Now our meat is partially frozen, which is going to make it easier to slice it thin. And we want to cut against the grain, not with the grain. See if you notice here, let me get this right here. You see the grain is running this way, so we don't want to cut this way. We want to cut this way, nice thin strips. In fact, I think I'm going to cut this in half here. And make it a little easier to work with. And then see, just nice thin pieces. The thinner, the better. Okay, now you see nice thin slices. And make sure you clean up your table. I've got an antiseptic soap on this. Clean up my cutting board before I move on to other items. We're going to let this sit and defrost a little bit. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper to it. And in about a half hour, we'll start the saute work. All right, well, let's get ready to do a little bit of saute work, guys. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. Get this pan nice and hot. And I'm going to use half of the garlic in this, or, you know, about half. All right, there, that looks good. All right, now you see uh, the garlic is starting to brown a little bit. It's going to flavor that oil. I'm going to add my vegetables. Oh, yeah, listen to that. Just stir it up a little bit. Then we're just going to let that simmer. Let that saute for about, no, oh, I don't know, four or five minutes. We'll let those get nice and caramelized and tender. All right, look at that. Oh, nice and brown. Now we're going to set those aside and then we're going to do our meat. We'll add a little bit of olive oil, the rest of our garlic. Now our meat, I've already done a little salt and pepper on that. That's all you need. See this? Now we're just going to brown this garlic a little bit, just like that. Add our meat. Oh yeah. We're going to 
stir that every so often, make sure the pieces get nice and brown. Oh, what a now you see we had a little bit of fat in there, which is okay. Now we're going to add a little bit of flour. And this, we're kind of making a roux within the pot itself. This is going to continue cooking. See, I've got everything coated. Just like that. Oh, that's good. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water, or really what would be better is a little bit of beef broth. But just add a little bit of water to that. See, that's going to make a nice little gravy. Hold all of this together. Now that looks good. Now I'm going to add my vegetables. Let that cook for about three minutes to cook the flour that we added. Look at how nice and thick that is. See how nice and thick that is? Oh, beautiful. Well, that continues to cook. I'm going to get our shell ready. I'm going to cut the parmesan or the provolone in strips. Lay out my shell. Put the provolone across here. Oh, this is ready, guys. Hear it? Alright, now. Just going to layer that in here, right about in the middle. We don't want it too, too thick. This, this mix here is probably going to make a couple of different wraps. Now, when we wrap this, oh, get the knife out of the way. There we go, clean things up. I'm going to fold the inside, fold the sides, roll this over. Kind of keep it all in place here. Ooh, this is going to be a big one. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, just like this. Cut this. Put this on the plate. Notice I got a bigger plate here too. Oops. Oh, look at that. And I made a couple of potato pancakes because I don't have uh, french fries. Now this is cooking on board. Thanks to Honey Harvest, I had a great idea, made a few alterations. This is cooking on board in luxury.